guys. Markets love it. We're all a bit worried here. That's a, a trillion dollars to the IMF, then about uh, this in Australian dollars, and then about six trillion dollars in global economic stimulus, um, all from this one-day G20 uh, meeting. Um, clamp down on tax havens and new rules on executive pay. Uh, the trillion dollars is just to the IMF. Uh, there's another six. Uh, trillion going into the actual um, world economy. And basically, as we spoke about last week, central banks are printing money. Mm. Now, anyone who knows, does did modern history at high school knows the Germans did that in the Weimar Republic, hyperinflation, all that sort of stuff. That's a worry. One of our big guns is also their leader of the government business, Anthony Albanese, while Shadow Treasurer Joe Hockey is here with us. Good morning to you both. Morning. Albo, you're at the G20 Morning. meeting. The world's leaders have spoken. Uh, will we see our government go into a spending frenzy? And, and will you guys start printing money like everybody else seems to be doing? Well, no, we're not about to start doing that, Koshi, but this was uh, a great success. Uh, we know that nations can make a difference acting by themselves, but uh, nations acting together can make a real difference and uh, this is a global recession. It began of course in the United States due to a lack of regulation in the financial system there. So I think it's important that this isn't just about uh, spending, it's also about proper regulation. But uh, the leaders of uh, the world's 20 uh, leading economies uh, all came to London and all agreed that we needed to take uh, decisive action uh, we've been doing that already in Australia, of course, and uh, talking to uh, the representatives of other nations, uh, Australia and our responses held in very high regard. Joe, look, obviously it's, it's good, it's a great success that some decisions have been made, but the amount of money we're talking that is being spent is just beyond any of us even imagining. Well, I really hope it works. I really hope it works. Uh, because the last thing you want to see is people out of jobs. You don't want to see the world go into a more severe recession. It is a phenomenal amount of money. And I just, as Koshi said, I think they're going to have to print it. And when but, you print well, money... Which they are doing now. Really. Well, you're the already Bank of doing England's doing, doing, England's doing it. The United States is doing it. Uh, I think the caution of the Germans and French was wise. I think in Australia we should not be in the business of spending money. This is not a blank check for Kevin Rudd to spend, spend, spend more money because someone is going to have to pay for it. In fact, it's going to be those small business people, those tradies, they're going to have to pay for the spendathon that I feel is coming. And, and the well, other... Well, that's nonsense, Joe. Seriously, like, the, the whole of the world's leaders have come to London and all of them have, have been in agreement that we actually need to take action, not just sit back and watch. No, it's not and sit for, back and watch. For you to say you are, you are just the, the only people who are out of step with world economic opinion is the opposition in Australia. It really is extraordinary. The Conservative Party here, uh, led by David Cameron, have certainly welcomed uh, the outcome and welcomed uh, the result today. And surely um, this should be a bit above politics. I would have thought that today... Uh, you, could, uh, you could welcome this outcome. Well, mate, can I just say again, I really hope it works. But if you think we're out of step with the rest of the world, then so be it, we are. The bottom line is we believe that if you get into the business of printing money, you end up with inflationary well, who's, pressures. Who's doing, if, who's if, doing, if, if, just who's a minute, if I can just finish, if I can just finish. If you get into the business of doing that anywhere in the world, you get into that business, there are a massive risk. If you spend too much money, that's exactly how the world got into this problem. The danger is that this is going to right. exacerbate it. I hope I'm wrong. I hope the fact is uh, that, you know, we can all get out of this. OK, next one I want to ask you. News Limited paper said the PM reduced a female flight attendant to tears. Now, apparently Kevin Rudd didn't like the meal that he was served on an RAAF flight in January. Sources say he reacted strongly and a heated exchange followed. The flight attendant burst into tears. Mr Rudd later apologised and he says everyone is human. Uh, all of us are human. I'm human. I'm uh, not perfect, um, you know. And as I said before, if I um, upset anybody on that particular flight, I'm really sorry. I apologise for it. Um, and um, and um, as I said at the time uh, to um, one of the staff on the plane, uh, let's, um, um, that's, uh, that's it. I mean, it's, uh... 
Uh, Joe, uh, there were some big stories on you, cover stories in Sunday magazines last weekend. You actually made a comment in one of those stories that the pressure tells on Kevin Rudd and you see his nasty side come out. Is this one of them? I hope this is a one-off. I hope this is a one-off. I, mean, I mean, he should be better than that. We know he can be better than that. I just hope it's a one-off. Anthony, I mean, he said he's human. We're all human. But is the stress getting to him? Is he is he overstepped the mark? <laughs> no, not at all. Look, the, the Prime Minister has uh, been big enough to do something I never heard past the lips of the previous Prime Minister, which he said that uh, if there's been any offence called, he said sorry. Uh, end of story. He's uh, big enough and uh, Australian enough to do that. Mm, OK. All right. All right. Now, portrait. Just want to ask you, Joe, um, bit of a bit of a painting of you taking pride of place in the walls of New South Wales Parliament House. It's an exhibition <laughs> showcasing a range of pollies. Now, the artist, Robin Ross, says she has captured your warmth, warm and fuzzy side. Oh, do you feel warm and fuzzy? <laughs> I look a little a indigenous there, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's, uh, I think, uh, yeah. Do you oh, like I love it? my cricket. Yeah. Do you Alba, like Alba, do you think this is a leading indicator that Joe might switch to state politics? <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, he, he, he certainly was pretty keen for a while there, wasn't no, he? But no. uh, I think after after Brendan got knocked over, I think he's probably might be more interested in how Malcolm's no, no. going. Oh, the, the, the good, in, the good uh, news is I have my clothes it, on in that portrait. He, he, he just wants to lead the Liberal Party. He's not sure no, where. No. OK, well... I don't think anyone's watching Joe's portrait. There. Yes. There's another one of Virginia Judge, who is the third <laughs> party minister. <laughs> She's showing a little more than you are, Joe. Yeah. 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 My, mine aren't quite like that. <laughs> show, show, They're show, not show, meant show, to me. Show, yeah, show, yeah, I was right. Um, oh, Mark Latham was the one with the man boobs, wasn't he? So, oh. Well, that's he declared them. Someone declared the. Anyway, oh, I don't know I don't where we're we going. going. We'll just stop. Way too much information. Thank you, Kyber, guys. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Anthony. Um, now, Thanks a lot. Now, just back to the G20.